Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. You all know that matter is what things are made of and that it possesses two fundamental properties. It has mass, which is the quantity of matter that it has, and volume, which is the space it occupies. Well, today we're going to learn about the states that matter can be in. Matter can be in three states. Solid form, liquid form and gas form. Each one of these has its own characteristics. Let's get to know them. Solid state is characterised by having a fixed volume and size. Although, in some cases, we can change its size, like with plasticine or clay. In these cases, they are malleable solids. Liquid state is characterised by having a fixed volume and variable size. Liquids take the container's shape, like this glass or jug. Gas state is characterised by having a variable volume and size. In the same way that liquids take the shape of the container holding them, but gases always occupy the full volume of the container. Now we know about the three states of matter. But do you know how we can change from one state to another? Changes in state happen after cooling or heating matter and there are different types. Melting, solidification, evaporation and condensation. Melting happens when matter changes from its solid to liquid form and happens after rising temperature. When we heat an ice cube or leave it at room temperature, it melts and changes from solid to liquid. Solidification is the opposite from melting. Matter changes from liquid to solid form. It happens when we put water in the freezer and it turns into ice. It goes from liquid to solid. Evaporation is when matter changes from liquid to gas. After liquids are heated, for example, when we boil water, it turns into water vapour. It turns from liquid to gas. Condensation is a step from gas to liquid and happens when matter in gas state is cooled. Have you ever noticed that when we get steamy windows or mirrors, water droplets appear? It's produced when water vapour touches a cold surface. In that same moment, water vapour cools and turns into liquid. Easy, huh? Well, now we know the states of matter. Goodbye, friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Look around you. All you can see, all that is around you, is made up of matter. Water, animals or even a simple table are all made up of matter. But do you know what matter is? Matter is everything that has a mass and a volume. These are matter's general properties. Mass is the amount of matter in a body. It is measured in kilograms and can be calculated with the use of a balance or scale. Yeah, yeah, exactly like the ones you have in your bathroom at home or like the ones doctors use to weigh us. Let's give you an example so that you can understand it better. An elephant weighs 4,000 kilos and has a lot more matter than a kangaroo, which weighs only 25. The volume is the space that a body takes up. 
It is measured in liters, and so that you can understand it better, we will continue with the same example of the elephant and the kangaroo. The elephant occupies more space than the kangaroo, otherwise meaning that its volume is a lot greater. To calculate the volume of an object, for example, that of a stone, we must first fill a measuring jug with exactly a liter of water, just as we are seeing in this image. When we introduce the stone in a jug, we will see the water level rise, and now it indicates 1,7 liters. Now, we must subtract this new measurement to that of the liter of water which we had at the beginning, meaning 1,7 minus 1,0, and the result of is the stone's volume, meaning the stone has a volume of 0,7 liters. Easy, isn't it? Truth is, to calculate the volume of an elephant, we would need a very large swimming pool. Matter has specific characteristics, such as its color, its taste, its hardness, its elasticity, its temperature, or its density, which allows us to differentiate one substance from the other. This means that each matter has its own properties. For example, milk is liquid and white in comparison to a pear which is sweet. They are very different from each other, but both equally yummy. Well, now you know that everything is made up of matter and that they have general properties such as their mass and volume and specific properties such as color, taste, or density, which allows us to differentiate one substance from the other. Goodbye, friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video! Attention, attention! We are surrounded! <gasps> yes, we are surrounded by air, water and shark, or what is the same, of matter. Because everything that surrounds us is matter. Today, we're going to talk about that, about matter and the substances that it composes. Today, we're going to learn what pure, and mixture substances are. All around us we can find matter formed by a single component, by a single substance, such as a pure water or gold. But there is also matter composed of two or more substances, such as air that is formed from different gases or these sharks that are formed among other things by cartilage, meat, and many teeth, very sharp. According to their number of components, we classify matter into pure substances or mixed ones. Pure substances are those that are made up of a single component, such as water, gold or salt. Pure substances have specific characteristics that identify them, such as the density or the temperature at which they melt. A diamond which is solid has a higher density than water which is liquid. Get it? In addition, components of pure substances do not change even if they are subjected to physical changes. Water, for example, can be heated and turned into steam, or you can freeze it and turn it into ice, but it still is the same substance. It still is water. Gold can also be melted and molded into different shapes, but if we analyze it, it is still gold. It has changed physically but the substance has not changed. 
Now let's see what mixtures are. Mixtures are the combination of two or more components. They are different types of mixtures. Some mixtures are homogeneous and some mixtures are heterogeneous. In homogeneous mixtures, the components are not visible to the naked eye, as in this fruit smoothie. Mmm, what's in it? Or when we mix water with salt, the salt dissolves and it is impossible to distinguish it from water, unless you drink it. Yeah. In heterogeneous mixtures, on the other hand, the substances that compose it are clearly distinguishable. As in the fruit salad with banana, strawberry, orange. Mmm-hmm, I am so hungry. Or when we mix water with oil. Have you ever tried it? Water and oil don't mix even if you stir them. There is no way they always separate from each other. So now you know, we are constantly surrounded by matter. And depending on its components, matter can be pure or a mixture. Now, I'm going to drink a big glass of chocolate milk. Can you tell me what kind of mixture it is? Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Goodbye, friends. See you next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.